Hello students, welcome to the English class and this time it is something new which we are going to, to do that is literature, you know. We have been doing grammar and writing skill but today we will be doing literature and the first chapter, the very first chapter which we are going to do in literature is Owls in the Family. As the name suggests, Owls in the Family, that means uh, maybe they are pet or maybe they are just they just live with the family somewhere in, in the corners of the house or something but the story de uh, you know details about all the human qualities compassion love care you know and then um, you know even you will feel it better when you will come to know what happens towards the end you know it is such a nice and refreshing story which which leaves you with uh, good thoughts and good ideas. Okay, uh, let's talk about the story. In this chapter, we will read a story about a young boy's unusual pets. And now, who could these pets be? Of course, owls. This story is nicely written by Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond, you know, if I talk about the writer, he writes very um, soft and simple yet uh, you know integrate stories which 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 connects human feelings very nicely which expresses human human feelings very nicely this is a speciality of Ruskin bond you know a small uh, even a train journey or you know um, a planting a, a cherry tree who can think of writing stories on such normal things you know journey by train or planting a cherry tree but Ruskin Bond the way he writes it gives us so many aspects you know it fills you with uh, so many so many colors of feelings you know and you start thinking that oh my goodness I mean such a, such a small thing is being described and it, it is being used by Ruskin Bond to create such a nice story such a nice narrator uh, so this story which we are going to study now which we are going to read now is also very interesting so enjoy and pay attention read learn to appreciate the deep connection that's what I told you you know it's a deep connection it is this story shows you the deep connection of human bonds with man to man or person to person humans to, to animals and animals to human you know because if humans, they think, if, if person, if, if man thinks that he or she uh, needs to have a deep connection, then a similar uh, thought process is, is, is with the animals. Animals also should have, uh, should, should understand that, okay, fine, I'm wanted here, I'm cared here, I'm loved here. You know, and all these emotions we will see in this lesson. So what, what is the highlight? First of all, read the story about a young boy's unusual pets. Learn to appreciate the deep connection of human beings, which can, uh, human beings can make with their fellow creatures. Now here, creatures is very important word because creatures is not only mean human to human, but fellow creatures means all the creatures which are, which are there in the world. Okay? Though we think that humans are superior as we have brain, but still God has gifted every creature its own special quality and which should be nurtured, rendered and respected. Okay, Practice the different types of sentences. Yes, we have done sentences already. Reinforcement, revision, examples, everything we have seen, and so we are ready to practice different types of sentences. Let's begin. Chapter number one is a short story Owls in the Family, Ruskin Bond, written by Ruskin Bond. Do you have a pet of your own? If this is a question put up to you, yes, many may have pets at their homes and Many may not have. Most of us think of a dog or a cat when we when we want a pet. Okay, at times they are birds like parrots 
or any other words word which could be there as a pet but generally usually dog or cats that's only uh, these two animals come into our mind when you think about pets read a story in which two unusual pets enter <clears throat> a kind and loving household family okay i hope we would be able to finish this one page today or maybe more okay let's start one morning we found a full fledged baby spotted owl owlet on the ground by the veranda steps when the grand grandfather picked it up it hissed and clacked its bill but after a meal of raw meat and water settled down for the day under my bed generally ruskin born stories are the first person narratives what are first person narratives like if you see my bed i went you know i saw i talked in a story so you must understand that this is something first person narrative that means the writer wants to show that here the boy is he himself ruskin born wants to show that this boy whose story he is narrating it's 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 him only okay as ruskin born so when writer wants to show that this this is my experience writer will start writing in the first narrative right so what happened in it was a usual morning but what what they have what the grandfather and the boy that means this this pair what did they find they find owlet spotted owlet this is described full full fledged baby spotted owlet what is full fledged with fully grown wings though they were babies they were owlets but they were all full grown i mean they had all their wings uh developed and nicely uh, developed wings and everything so they were though they were owlets but still they were fully grown and what happened when and where where did this did spot these these owlets near the veranda steps when the grandfather picked it up it hissed and clanged its bill but after a after a meal of raw meat and water naturally grandfather you know uh, might have given them food and after that when they received food it was settled and where it was settled down it was settled under the table of under the under the bed of the writer under the table of the oh, sorry under under the bed of the boy the spotted owlet even when full grown is only the size of a mana the spotted owlets what what would be their size doesn't matter if they are full grown but but what will be their size they will is the only size of mana mana is a small uh, singing bird you know so uh, maybe a palm or so a little longer than a palm so this was only their size the size of spotted owlet and has none of the sinister appearance for the larger owls the sinister seeming evil or dangerous and they did not have because they were owls and they were so sweet and cute they did not had that evilish uh, appearance what what owls generally have we are scared to see owls because they have that evilish appearance and then moreover they are active at night so naturally that also gives us trauma and the tension so that is why for us um, a full grown owl or uh, you know when you see owl at night is the scary but these owlets did not have that scary look on their face okay i will read this again the spotted owlets even when full grown is only the size of a mana and has none of the sinister appearance of the larger owls a pair of them may often be found in an old mango or tamarind tree and by tapping on the tree trunk you may be able to persuade the bird to show an inquiring face at the entrance to the to its hole and where where are these uh, spotted owlets found they are found maybe in the old mango or the tamarind trees 
clear and generally they live in, inside the hole so if if somebody goes and tap it you know just make some sound uh, sound just knock it or tap tap that trunk or near the hole somewhere they will they will show their they will show their face to inquire like we inquire if somebody knocks the door or rings the bell we inquire you know show our face and inquire who's at the door so in a similar way these owlets also or these owls behave in the same manner when you tap at their uh, trunk, trunks tree trunks they will uh, show their face as as if they are inquiring who's there for us the bird is not normally afraid of man or it is this it is strictly a night bird but it prefers to stay at home during the day as it is sometimes attacked by other birds who consider all owls are their enemies as i told you owls are considered to be the night bird because they are active and they could see very nicely at night not not in the daytime that is why these owlets used to stay at home during the during the morning or during the daytime and at, at night they were active and they again used to come back to rather than going to the trees they used to come back to their uh, to, to the house of this um, grandfather and the boy and the second reason perhaps grandfather thought that why they don't go out in the in the daytime because at times uh, the other birds they attack them because they think that they are uh, these owls are their enemies because at night they might hunt them so otherwise also if these owls come back to the to the house or they go in the tree tree trunk in the hole as a as as a hide in the daytime these owls never come out because first of all they are scared of other birds as they can the other birds can attack them and second of all they are the night birds the little owl owlet was quite happy under my bed the following day the second owlet was found in almost the same place on the veranda and only then did we realize that that were the rain water pipe emerged through the roof there was a rough sort of nest from which the bird had fallen and then suddenly after um just the following day you know what happened just the next day what happened another owlet was found almost at the same place near the veranda stairs okay and then uh, uh, this pair of grandfather and the grandson started realizing that okay they have come, you know roughly made made nest uh, on the roof near this pipe and maybe through this pipe these babies have might have slipped down got it we took the second young owl to join the first and fed them both and these people were so generous and so kind and so caring that these people have taken uh, added this owl to their family and started feeding them and taking care of them when i went to the bed they were on the ledge just inside the mosquito netting and later in the night their mother found okay before we turn the page i would like you to go through this one did you know a spotted owlet is not actually a young owl it is a smaller breed of owls native to the indian subcontinent and the southeast asia Okay. this is a different breed out spotted outlet uh, outlets is a different breed actually okay so they are not they, they are not uh, maybe considered as the young owls but yes their size and everything was very very small though these owlets were not fully grown were not you know completely adults they were still the, the babies but but still it is the spotted owl it is the name of that species which is found in the southeast asian subcontinent right shall we turn the page now okay take a quick look on these five new words which are given here in the glossary also full fledged with fully grown wings clanged 
and here children clang is also a figure of speech as we have studied uh, last year also clang is a figure of speech which is also uh, which, which is named as onomatopoeia onomatopoeia means the spelling of the word and the pronunciation it, the sound it makes are same so onomatopoeia like his sort of you know the way we spell it out his they, they make the same sound also so such combination of of uh, um, word i mean the spelling and the sound gives it onomatopoeic touch so this clang is onomatopoeic quickly the five words full fledged clang sinister persuade and in inquining sinister me seeing evil or dangerous seeming evil evil or evil or dangerous as i told you uh, persuade convince inquiring questioning and when you know we ask some questions we want to know some answers that that time we, we become in, inquiring right so let's move to the next page okay can you see it now Hmm. What was there on the first page? Yes. When I went to the bed, they were on the ledge just inside the mosquito netting, and later in the night, their mother found. Them there. and what happened they were near the ledge of that net and 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 why were they there because later in the night their mother found them because then they went with their mother from outside she crooned and gurgled for a long time and in the morning i found that she had left a mouse with its tail tucked through the mosquito net obviously she placed no reliance on me as a foster parent now see how caring mothers are you know these animals and birds they are also very caring creatures for their uh, young ones for their babies so what happened in the night time the the mother used to come and uh, she used to find her two ow owlets there and then in the morning what this boy has found out that at night she was making this these sounds of croon croon sounds and sound and gurgling sound and in the morning what this boy found outside the net was a rat okay so and why was that rat kept kept there so that uh, this these owls can eat it because maybe the mother owl was not very convinced about uh, this boy to be a foster parent to her owlets and that is why she wanted herself to take care of them and that is why she put a, 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 a mouse near the net we shall take the this the next paragraph quickly the young birds thrived and and 10 days later at the dawn grandfather and I, and i took them into the garden to release them i had placed one on the on a branch of the mango tree and was stooping to pick up the other when i received quite a heavy blow on the back of my head the second a second or or two later the mother owl swooped at grandfather but he he was agile enough to duck out of its way quickly i placed the second owl under the mango tree then from a safe distance we watched the mother fly down and lead her offspring into the long grass at the edge of the garden okay then afterwards what happened after 10 days the babies were eating nicely drinking nicely so they thrived they have gained you know 
weight or they were becoming healthy and strong just within 10 days and then grandfather and and uh, i i means again i told you it's the first person narrative so i means ruskin born thought that thought about uh, that they should leave these outlets to to the mother so that she can take care of them so thinking this they went to the garden and released them they wanted to release them they thought that it is just by chance they if they have come they have been dropped they had dropped from the pipe and maybe by chance they have come there so what they can do is they can release and that is why they they, uh, they this boy placed one of the owlets near the branch of the mango tree okay and was stooping to pick the another one and was he was going down to pick the another one but then suddenly what happened the mother owlet came and what she did the mother owl swooped at grandfather but he was agile he was the grandfather was very active and that is why it was in the enough time the grandfather could duck down means bend down so that he could miss the hit of the mother owl but what they did they kept the second owl also near the tree and then they quickly went back and just from the from from the back of the long grass they watched you know, the offspring you know to go back to their mother in the garden then what happens we shall we shall continue in the next week until then read the story carefully and learn all the new words okay bye bye and have a nice time